Hey, hey, you're with Easy Jeezy. I'm going to show you a quick way of CCing your Volkswagen cylinder heads right in a kitchen. I bought these new cylinder heads from Carcraft. Got a hell of a deal on them. They're like uh, 145 bucks. You can't even mess with a, a head. And then it was uh, $15 to have it uh, bored over for uh, 92 which also works for 90.5 I had a CC kit and uh, this was the 90.5 90 90 disc and I had the 92 disc and if you look at the two side by side you can just see how close that circumference is on the outside of that. That's the difference between going with a 1776 build and an 1835 build. You take up the difference on making the cylinder walls thinner. Now, originally when I had bought this CC kit years ago, uh, I've gone through a couple of these syringes because the they swell and I've heard of putting all sorts of different things in there. Uh, so I decided I better clean mine up and I was going to wash it here in the sink with some dish soap and look at that the darn ink came off I very lightly had a, a scotch bright pad so I ran to this uh, uh, it's not a sporting goods store it's kind of a hardware store and where I live they also sell very veterinarian supplies so I was able to buy this uh, 60 cc syringe for uh, 99 cents if you go online, uh, you can buy the discs and the syringe for about 15 bucks. And I got this one here for, uh, like I said, 99 cents. So what we're going to do, I'm not, I put a, a spark plug in this cylinder, and I just did it hand tight. I'm going to take this 92, and I'm going to drop it in there. I'm not putting grease on it or anything else. I'm going to put you in the stand here. So, first thing I'm going to do is uh, I got a bowl full of just kitchen sink water here. I'm going to fill this up as much as I can. I'm going to get the air bubble out. And I'm going to get the rubber where it just comes into the, to the rubber there. Now, the, the rubber's got a dome in it to uh, simulate the meniscus if you were looking at a uh, oh, burette type chemistry deal. So now what we're going to do is we've got the spark plugs in, the valves are closed, and we're just going to dump it down inside there. I hope you can see this. There's nothing magical here. you got a hole, and we're going to just push, push it down in here. And then all of a sudden you're going to see the air bubble at the top underneath the plastic. I can see it here. I don't know what you guys are seeing. Okay. It just went away. And it's right to the bottom of the plate. And if you look on this right here, I'm going to make sure there's nothing here. Yeah, looks like it's good. Okay, so looks like we are right on the four. So four from 60 would give us uh, four from 60. <laughs> 56 cc's are these cylinder heads. Now there's a little bit of a step in here. Now if you were going to do some grinding work and uh, do some performance work, you would want to do this to each and every one of your cylinders um, to make the volume the same in each cylinder. If you want to polish your heads or do anything, and I really, you know, I'm not going to mess with that. You, you can get carried away with that stuff. You can do port polishing, cylinder polishing. You do whatever you want. But this is how you CC a head, and it works real good, and you can do it right here. And you can do it in the kitchen sink, and it, you don't have to deal with grease, grease and transmission fluid and all that other stuff. I got the springs in there; everything was set up. Lucky I didn't just break this bowl. This is uh, 
exhaust valve that I was looking at a little bit closer, was looking at the springs. I'm going to do some more on these cylinder heads in another video, but uh, I just take a paper towel or air compressor and, and you're ready to, to go to the next one. Let's, uh, let's do this one just to see real quick for comparison here. Oop, there it is. So we're going to get our syringe again. Just get our water. I don't know why I'm struggling with the water. Got a whole city full of it, right? We're going to do that one. Oh, i got to move the spark plug. <laughs> Be sure to move the spark plug. That makes a hell of a drain hole. This is a used spark plug. Similar to the one I'm going to put in it. I'm just screwing it in finger tight. And, okay, I'm going to move this to the same spot. Okay, start from off with 60. Make sure you got no air bubbles or anything in there. Come over to your to your hole. That exhaust valve doesn't even have a spring holding it in, so we'll see how good the seal is on that. See a change there when you get get close. I think it's leaking. No? We're there. Let's see what it came out to. Oh, well, maybe not. There we go. Looks like a little bubble right there. Man, that doesn't take much, just a drop. You see, I don't know if you could see it there. I'm seeing this little bubble go away. Alright. Still see that bubble. Four. I don't know if you could see it. So you subtract the four from the sixty that you started off with. This doesn't count because you didn't. It, it was already in there. You're only figuring the difference from here to there and subtracting what's left. And when you squirt it all out, the rubber goes all the way in there. You just have this little tip. But you know that should be should be good enough to do your calculation. So according to this, I got. Uh, 56 cc's left in my head to do my calculation and we'll do that uh, we'll do that online because I do not know what my deck height is I've got to pull the head off the engine and I was going to do that today so stay tuned thanks for watching thanks for subbing easy jeezy out